वेलकम टू दी अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एब्सट्रैक्ट थीसिस सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी आर डिगिंग डीप इन टू दी पावर बी आई कंसेप्ट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर अवर न्यू वीडियो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एब्सट्रैक्ट थीसिस सीरीज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ कैन बी सम द लेटेस्ट वैल्यू नाउ आई क्रिएटेड अ वीडियो वेयर वी हैव टेकन द लास्ट स्टेटेड एज शोन इट टू यू एंड वी ऑल्सो शोन यू हाउ टू फिल्टर दोज रोज and i have also written a blog around that so you can refer that video and blog now what happens is this last status file let me show you the file first so this was the file so where you know i have this id1 there are various dates and then there is a status so i want to actually show this two rows only okay and then what we have done is we created a power bi solution where we created a major like this and we were able to show the two records okay so we are done with this the x code has helped us now what what we want now here is what happens if this is not a status this is a quantity so let's say this is quantity so what i want here is this is id this is date this is quantity this is 5 and this is 4 and i want a sum of these two i want 9 so will that formula work or do i need to do a modification in that formula to achieve this now to do this let's head over to power bi so i have already opened power bi i am crossing this welcome screen and what i, I because i have copied the data i am going to uh, put enter data and the reason i put enter data here because if i share these files with you then you don't have to search for that excel file uh, I, i most of the time keep my excel files on my github account so if you want to see something is not there just check my github account i always have a link in the video and if you don't find you can just write down on that video that the file is missing can you provide that otherwise sometime i keep really simple data which you can also um create by yourself okay so we got this so we need to have the second column as detected as a date and the third column should be detected as number so let's go ahead and do that so data is getting loaded and let's see so this is date this is id is number quantity is number i don't want id as a number so i say don't summarize okay and let me go let me go ahead and create a visual so i say id and then i say date and let me make it as a date column in quantity and let me increase the font size so i'll say font Ideally, we should take a theme and do it. But I've taken a fresh file. Okay, so I have this number, which is eighteen. But what we need is nine. Okay, so let's go and copy this formula from the blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this formula from the blog. And I sometimes what would happen, like you know, when we paste it on the medium blog, specifically, is make uh, the single quote something different or double quote something different. So you might face issues. So then. paste it on a notepad and do a replace i've tried that i copy paste it from a notepad so that it goes fine into the um, code part but if in case you face some issue you can try like that so we will say what is this now this is last qt wise sum okay so let me i'll explain you this major let let me first give give this thing to this so there are few changes here so first of all what we are doing here is max x filter all selected table data 1 data one's id equals to data one's id so what we are saying whatever id is there in the row look at all the rows and find out the maximum date so what we are saying is find out the maximum date for this id so to find out the this date see understand one thing when you use this max this max is going to give you this rows data all, only because your scope is row whenever you create a major your scope is row now to overcome that scope you need to use all selected uh, all all except and all those whatever can you know give you a bigger scope so we say okay uh we are going to we are giving, giving you the complete table scope now once we are given the table scope we say okay the id is equal to max of id and i use is all selected not all the reason is that i if i have not selected the data then i don't want that to be considered now that ha happens then instead of max sum we are max we are going to say sum and again i'm going to change the table name i'm going to call data and then i'll say quantity 
so then i'll say filter data and last time i explained if i use all selected data it's not going to work out so i'm going to say data one only here and in the data one date is equals to the max date so what i'm saying is in this row the date should be equal to the max date and what is the max date max date is the max date for that id which is present in the context by ignoring all other filter so we are finding out the date for this particular id ignoring all other filter and that's the date and i want to keep that date only so that is why i'm not using all select because if i use all selected here what would happen all the dates would be available and then all the rows will become true okay so that's what i don't want so let me drag this down we got five and four but you see the challenge here is that it's not summing up to nine okay so let me do one thing let me only call this major as last quantity i'm just renaming it because i'm going to create one more major now the best way to deal such situation is that i got this last quantity i'm going to create a one more major here one additional major and i'm going to call it as last qty sum and then i'm going to say sum x now how my major is working my major is working on at the id level now id level like because it's single level i can use values if it is more than one level i can use summarize and along with summarize i can also use add columns in case if it is needed this is the same way we correct the grand total so if your grand total is wrong how do you correct it you use values or you use summarize so now my grand total is wrong what is the context i need to make it correct i only need id in the context i don't need date context to correct it because date is not in the context of my calculation okay so i can work with only id context and then i say last quantity and let me see does it give me 9 or not so i get 5 and 4 still i am getting the same thing 5 and 4 and now i am getting the correct sum also now i don't need this last quantity in the visual okay so in this manner i can go ahead and create a major now you, you you might be saying that it 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 is showing all the rows now it is showing all the rows because quantity is there in the visual and let's remove this quantity from the visual it's showing only two rows five and four and the sum is nine so we created a major that is filtering the row and correctly summing it up so go ahead and try this out do let me know in the comments what else you want me to cover in this particular series Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.